You're watching another Nerd Stalker event update. All right, let's move to the last one. Uh, this was interesting when I read this because um, it, 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 I see a lot of people doing this. It's, uh, and, it, and, and this is under the, the realm of property. So, you know, you get a lot of entrepreneurs borrow against their property to build a business. And, uh, uh, you know, and so you get caught up with your ideas and you think this is the one. So you, 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 you put all your Annie in, man. But, uh, that, you yeah, know, when it doesn't, when it doesn't work. You lose it all, uh, and and uh, you know, luckily uh, for the kinds of things that I do, um, no matter what I sold my house for, it wouldn't be enough money. So to me, <laughs> it's just not enough from there. But I actually know people that had gotten, had taken everything they had, uh, even in this it, within the biotech sector, and had uh, you know, and, and put everything into it. Uh, some. Hopefully they come out okay on the other side, but there are some people in businesses when they get into it that if the business doesn't work, they're so head over heels in debt that it's really difficult to recover afterwards. And uh, you know, and and if you don't make enough money, so taking care to not have your loved ones be in a situation which would compromise them if something happened to you is a very important part of planning, not for your business but for your life. Um, and uh, it's just, and also with, with property, having key man insurance in a company. I mean, if you have a company and you're the only one there, and all of a sudden the company, you're, you're gone, and and they don't have the money to hi yet to hire someone to take your place, you know, things of that sort. There, there are uh, problems, uh, you know, that can occur, and so you lose uh, a lot, and people lose a lot uh, if you don't plan appropriately. Yeah, you know, it, 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 you know I, I, I think, you know. When I was thinking of property, I was thinking like financial, you know, almost, you know, that type of thing it was going through my head when I was reading the article. And, uh, you know, I think, you know, they're kind of the same thing, right? Is to protect yourself um, and not put yourself out there that, you know, you not, lose it all. Not that far. It, uh, yeah. There are people that do it, and it's okay. You just have to recognize that you can lose a lot. Nobody knew in advance that in was it eighty seven was the first big uh, market crash. The second one was like oh one and oh and then two and oh two oh seven. Well, you know, when you look at those and you look at what happened, there's you can't you nobody could predict those. So I wasn't even sure in two thousand and seven, and people don't realize this, but you know, uh, companies uh, that were banks that everybody was aware of, like Wachovia, uh, Merrill Lynch. Uh, you know, Citigroup. Uh, there was a point in time during that where I wasn't sure that I could even write checks the next day to cover things because if those companies went under, I didn't know what happened to my accounts. Hmm. Well, hmm. that's just personally. Now we're not talking about what happens with companies when you get into stuff like that. You got major assets tied up in some of these places, and so you can't you can't predict what's going to happen. Some things occur beyond your control. And when that takes place, um, you know, if you're not, you don't have some measure of reserve, you're kind of stuck. Right, 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 right. I, I think you probably met a lot of people in in that realm in your in your career, right? I know some people that had to go through and declare personal bankruptcy. Uh, you know, uh, and and uh, that's traumatic for them. It takes several years to recover, and you know, uh, and and it's it it's difficult. Uh, I've known builders, personally builders, that were building houses that got caught in the 07 yeah. mess. And some of them had multiple, one person almost thought about killing himself. Uh, he literally he literally had to go take odd jobs. This guy had was doing a couple of million dollars a year in business for himself with his small company and had built multiple houses and all of a sudden when the market hit, he had everything to all tied down in, in personal loans. And literally just lost everything. You know, um, you know, they talk about market corrections, and there's always, always those personal corrections that happen in life, huh? Well, when the more, when things when unexpected events happen, and you don't, and you've not at least made yourself more resilient to some of those, you get caught. Right. And, and it's, it's not planned, and something, but you have to plan to not get caught. You know, by and sometimes you, no matter how much planning you got, you're still going to get hurt. So, so interesting. The next, 
so let's let's close off the interview. But I, I want to talk uh, quickly that uh, you know next month uh, we're going to try to do the show here on the West Coast together. Actually, so this is yeah. kind of I, interesting. All you got to figure out how to get where where my daughter's moving to. But <laughs> <Get to that. laughs> I love to be a map. I know where that place is. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, we're going to try to do this. Um, you know, um, a couple of my friends have studios. And we're gonna, I'm yeah. thinking about doing it an in studio thing and. Uh, we'll do it live with them next to me, and then just do kind of talking about uh, you know the next uh, you know talking about the book. Actually, I think I would yeah. rather talk about the book. Um, so you know, and and the book you wrote is called Think Agile, and I I saw some copies on on the internet, so it is real. <laughs> it, it is. I, I got 15 from the printer, and the publisher got a large shipment already. So I'm waiting for them to. They have to send them first to the places that like Amazon and other places are going to be selling them retailers. And then, uh, then I ordered some personally from the publisher. I'm waiting for mine, the big order, to come in. Uh, and uh, but the, the 15 that I got, I've already sent to people that have been helpful to me along the way uh, with personal autographs and other kinds of stuff in there. Uh, and then called them to make sure they got them. And then I've got waiting for the others to come in so I can uh, have those too. Yes, get that book. It's called Think Agile. It's available on Amazon, uh, Barnes and Noble. Um. Uh, if they go to the Think Agile website, uh, uh, it, right. there are links to places that they can buy it from. And there you go to the Amacom site for Think Agile. There are even more links in there than I got. <laughs> so there right, are multiple right, right. places you can get it online. Right. Uh, and uh, you, you know, it's a uh, I've had a few people that have started to read it already. The ones I sent it to them, and uh, I've always said, you know, hey, look, if if you at least write a uh, a review for me, if you read the book on uh, on Amazon or something, it'll make it look like people read my book. <laughs> yeah. after, after, about five, after about five, you've you've gone beyond the number of friends I have. So <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe that, but maybe close friends. Huh? <laughs> Okay. Well, thank you again. I appreciate it. Your time, and uh, you know, uh, we'll be together next month, as I said, and we'll do the show together. We'll we'll find uh, one of the studios that one of my friends have, and we'll do we'll do something. So yeah. anyway, anyway, thanks for uh, joining us, everyone. It's Greg Boy, Social Boy, on Twitter for the Nerd Stalker Media Network, where we believe in tech, startups, design, and you. Uh, thanks for joining us, everyone, and be careful out there. Hey, thanks again, Taffy. Appreciate it. <laughs> Did you read the...